Winter is coming. Winter is coming. Winter is coming. Actually, winter's here. And it's been here for a while. And it's frickin' cold. And despite what you may have heard, winter is a pretty miserable time for most chickens. Back when I first got started with chickens with that very first flock, I learned this the hard way, just how brutal winter is on chickens. From everything I'd read and heard at the time, I thought my chickens wouldn't be bothered by the cold. I had, after all, bought cold hardy breeds, supposedly. And I live in Southwest Idaho where, yes, we get winter, we get snow, but it's usually not that cold here. Temperatures are usually in the 20s and 30s. Sometimes they drop to the teens at night and only very, very rarely will we get single digit weather. But never the super cold, double digit negative temperatures that some states get. And so my reasoning went, if chickens can thrive in super cold, negative temperature states, surely they'll have no problem at all with my milder climate. But I knew nothing. You know nothing about snow. But the myth that chickens don't get cold is just that, a myth. They do actually, because chickens aren't whites and they're not white walkers. They're just birds and not Arctic birds, not even wild birds. And truly the only feral chickens who actually survive year round are those who live in milder climates, not in freezing cold climates. But this weird belief that chickens don't get cold is strangely common. And I've heard it in many forms that were convincing to me before I knew any better. So let me know if you've heard any of these. You're just projecting your own feelings onto your chickens. Just because you're cold doesn't mean your chickens are. Okay, maybe, but it also doesn't mean that they aren't. I've also heard chicken's feathers are the equivalents of heavy down coats. It's like they're wearing giant parkas, therefore they don't get cold. I have a heavy down coat on right now and I'm still cold. And when I sit with my chickens out in really cold weather, I wear a giant parka that actually has heat elements in it that run on a battery and I still get cold. I get it, I'm not a chicken, but it's not a given that chickens don't get cold just because they have down feathers. Here's one of my favorites. Chickens have an internal body temperature of about 106 degrees, therefore they don't get cold. Yeah, they have a higher body temperature than us, that's true, but that doesn't mean that they would feel how we would feel at that higher temperature. Now that is projection. And chickens actually need to maintain that higher temperature to not become hypothermic. So even though those body temperatures seem hot to us, they aren't hot to them. Chickens require those temperatures. It helps if you just think about tropical birds for a moment. So take parakeets and cockatiels, for example. Depending on the type of bird, the body temperature of these warm weather birds can range from between 102 degrees to 112 degrees. But most of these birds could never survive an Idaho winter. And in fact, some of them might not even survive if the temperature gets as low as just 60 degrees for a protracted period of time. And yes, most most chickens are much better suited to the cold than tropical birds are. But the point is, just because a bird has a higher body temperature than us, it doesn't mean that that bird's gonna fare better in the cold because of it. That's a misunderstanding in the chicken community. Another one I've heard is, you should be worrying about summer. Heat is a much bigger problem for chickens than cold is. Irrelevant and not necessarily true. It depends on how hot and how cold and what kind of birds you have. But even if you take that claim as a given, it doesn't follow that, therefore you don't have to worry about the cold at all. And finally this one. If you buy chickens from a breeder who lives in the same climate as you, then those chickens will thrive in your climate. They were made for it. Nope, wish it were true, but nope. The great majority of breeders breed their chickens to either fit a physical standard, so they want their chickens to be the right shape, size, colors, patterns, and so on, or they breed their chickens to lay a certain number of eggs or a certain shade of egg or to grow so big in a certain period of time. 
There are almost no commercial breeders at all who are breeding their chickens to thrive in harsh conditions, and especially not as a primary goal. And the very few who do breed for hardiness and longevity, they don't tend to do that in a very humane way. I would much rather just accept that although my birds, or at least my young birds, may survive cold, miserable conditions, they won't thrive in those conditions unless I help them. Because I don't want my chickens to just survive. I want them to be comfortable. I want them to have a great quality of life. first winter with my very first flock, I found that my chickens were living a really poor quality of life. Despite having a really dry, draft-free coop with great ventilation, despite having a lot of dry space in the run, some of my chickens still got frostbite on the tips of their combs and all of my chickens acted miserably cold. They spent most of their time puffed up, standing on one foot, huddled together, eyes closed, and shivering. Chickens shiver when they're cold just like humans do and we all know when we're shivering we're not comfortable. In fact we're usually really uncomfortable and none of us want to live like that for weeks or months on end. And then the last sign your chickens show to tell you that they're cold is inactivity. So if they're spending the majority of their time huddled together or in this kind of puffed up state rather than chickening around like they normally do then they're cold. And if your chickens are showing you these signs of cold during the day, well, the cold of the night is so much worse. For the night is dark and full of terrors. So how cold is too cold? Well, it depends on the breed, the strain, the individual, how old they are, how strong they are, and the conditions they're in, temperature, wind or drafts, moisture. Most of my chickens, after they've had some time to adapt to the cold, they seem happy enough in the 30s, some do okay in the 20s, but I have some weaker old lady chickens who don't even handle the 40s very well. On the other extreme, I once saw this YouTube video of these badass Russian chickens who were perching out in the middle of a snowstorm and they didn't appear to be bothered by it in the least. I'll link to that video up here if you wanna see that. None of my chickens are like that and you would be hard pressed to find American chickens who could tolerate those kind of conditions and not get frostbite. Most chickens can't be out in the weather like that at all. So what it comes down to is you'll always need your chickens to tell you how cold is too cold for them based on the signs. Inactivity, time spent puffed up, huddled, standing on one foot, shivering, eyes closed, and of course, frostbite. <laughs> So when I had these problems with my chickens that first winter, I was about ready to move them all into my warm garage, and that's always an option. You can buy a big camping tent or a couple of camping tents. They don't have to be good quality. They can be very cheap. You'll just put them up in your garage or somewhere else that's warm, a spare room in your house even, and let your chickens live there for a while if they need to, or just put them in there at night when it's really cold. What you doing, Owner? You foraging? But then I found a different solution that worked even better for my flock, and that is the sweeter heater. And I know what you're thinking. Aren't heaters dangerous? Coop fires, dead chickens. Power outages, dead chickens. I answer those objections and more in this video right here on chicken coop heaters. Happy chickening!